Hi, my name is Jenna Kofer. My group decided to do hairspray for our final project, and I was chosen to be the set designer for our group. So the music we decided to do was hairspray, and one of my favorite parts in hairspray was when all the kids were dancing on the Corny Collins show, which is a very popular hit TV show that both Tracy and Penny are both very obsessed with in the beginning of the movie, and where Tracy eventually gets a role and dances on the TV show. This was one of my favorite parts, so I really wanted to depict it because it was very colorful, very fun, everyone was having a great time during it, well, it looked like it, there's a lot more going on in the background, but I also really like all the visual elements, they're very colorful and very bright and just completely out there because it was the 60s so everything was about big colors and giant shapes. So, so I did a pencil did sketch, a pencil and it was a very rough draft. draft. I, I wanted, wanted to include, to include all of the elements, the elements that would be that in the background, such as such really as big really shapes, shapes, and, and I wanted to include a big flashing big sign that says the Corny Collins show. show, and connected, and to, connected to the sign is a hairspray can, can, because one of the biggest sponsors of the Corny Collins show was a hairspray brand, which was a big part of the movie, it was a big part of the ending, and a big part of the play as well. So I wanted to so make sure that I was bright, was bright and right and in center, center. So, so that hanging from the sign. the sign. I included a podium for which, for which Corny Collins stands, stands at. at. I included a camera because obviously it's a TV show, show something, something needs to be needs recording, to recording it. it. And a different, and a different element elements that, that the dancers, dancers would dance on, dance such on, as a staircase and a couch. And a couch. And just and a different, just a different, different, different um, um, background, background props, such props, as the poster, such as the poster and some of the big bright, the big bright shapes. So for the color, color rendering, rendering, I made sure a lot of bright lot colors. Of colors. I made sure, I made to, sure use to use really big, big like patterns, patterns because it was the '60s, so everything so was everything bright. bright. Everything, everything was very obnoxious. Very obnoxious. I decided to not have the couch and instead replace it with a chair because it's a lot less clunky and it's a lot easier to include a chair on a dance set because you're not tripping over a giant couch and you can easily move a chair. And I also made a couple rearrangements to the camera because it was still a camera that recorded with film, but I made it a lot smaller because if it was big and clunky then you couldn't really dance around it. The dimensions, the dimensions of my stage, stage are 50 feet, feet is, the width, is the width, the height, the height is, 70 is 70 feet, feet and the depth, and the depth is, 20 is 20 feet. feet. I, wanted I wanted a really big, big stage, stage and a really big really set, set because it is a dance, dance show, show, so there's a lot so of movement, movement and people, people need, need to get around each other and, and people, people need to be able to maneuver around all the different elements such as the podium and the staircase. And I also wanted really high ceilings because it, since it is a TV show, it is a set, you need lights, which are depicted in the top left and right corners. You need really big ceilings to be able to hang those lights down. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.